In this video, I'll show you how to build an array formula that extracts unique distinct values from a column and they are also sorted from A to Z. And you begin with selecting the array formula on my website and then copy that and then go to your workbook and here I want it to be in column F so I selected the first cell I want it in and then paste it to the formula bar and you need to change some of the cell references here the first one to change is the first argument in the county function. Move that cell reference to the cell above your current cell. And then make sure that you have this list here and here and here and here and here and here. And then press Ctrl Shift and hold them, and then press Enter once, and then release the keys. And now click and hold on the black dot here, and then drag to cells below, and this will copy the formula to the cells below. So how does this formula work? If you select the first cell, you can see that the first argument in the county function has an absolute part and a relative part. And if you go to the cell below, the relative part changes. And you can now see that it is it has two cells. Here it has only one cell, and that keeps going. And in this cell here, the cell range has expanded to three cells. And if I copy this, county function here for this cell here and paste it here first the equal sign and then uh, control shift and enter to make it an array formula and then expand the cell range and repeat sorry you need to sorry you need to have it you need to copy the cell reference to row 11 so these match these two and the county function here ch counts if these three values in these three cells is found in this cell range here and if it is it returns 1 and if it isn't it returns 0 and you can see that DD is here so it returns 1 for DD in this list and also down here and then there is BB and that value is here and the array returns 1 for that position. So now the formula knows where which values, previous values that have been displayed. And the next step is to copy this and check if it is equal to zero. And this is a logical expression that we are going to use in the if function. First let's see what happens here. 
the counter function is equal to zero and the first value is one and that is not equal to zero so the logical expression returns false and the second value is zero so it returns true and so on and you can see here one returns false and one returns false and now it's time to build that if function So if and the logical expression and then if it is true one and if it is false zero and then control alt and enter to enter it as an array formula. And here it is. And I'm now going to ch to change the value if true and the value if false but first i want to show you what is going to be there the count if function also allows you to rank text values or put a value on them depending on their sort order and uh, to do that you can use the county function and the first argument is this cell range here and the second argument is also this cell range here but i'm using a smaller than sign and an ampersand so this will compare the values to each other and return a number for each value and here we have zero and that is the smallest value in this array and the corresponding value is bb and you can see that that is the first value if you had them sorted from a to z and the second smallest value is one and that is dd and it's also down here so the next value is 3 and that is ee now i can use this array in this if function And I want, um, if this logical expression is true, I want them. And if they are not true, if it is false, I want it to be a blank. And since I took the country function from this cell here, and BB and DD has already been shown in cells above. So the formula returns a blank here because dd has already been shown and bb down here and here so it returns a blank in this position in the array and now i want to extract the smallest value from this array here and to do that i'm going to use the small function So I'm going to copy this and then equal sign small and the formula and then one and that's it. And now the formula returns three, which is the smallest value in this array. And now I want to find that this three, this number here in this array here. And I want to know where it is in this array. And the first value is nothing, so it's not there. But it is on 
in the second value in this array and to find the position in an array I'm going to use the match function and this is the first argument the value I want I want to look at or find or match and the array I want to look in is the same as this county function and I want an exact match so the third argument is zero and then an ending parenthesis and then control shift and enter and now it tells me that that value is in place in the second place in this array so now I can use the index function to find that value equal sign index function and the first argument is the this cell range and use function key f4 to convert it from relative to an absolute cell reference then comma and this is the second argument in the index function and here I'm going to use the entire formula so far and I don't need a the third argument because this cell range here is only in one column so I'm going to use the en an ending parenthesis and now I can press control shift and enter and the value is EE -E in this cell so if I copy this formula it returns FF and GG you see, they match.